Hi folks, this is Jay, I hope you're okay today. Just want to put this video on, it'll be a swear word in it by Mr. Repsium about gay marriage. And I just want to share a thought or two. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow reptiles, it is official. Today the Republican Party has went full retard mode. Hey honey, how are you? Fine, I guess. What's going on? Well, Obama is trying to force gay marriage on this country. That's not the change I voted for. Marriage is between a man and a woman. That's not the change I voted for either. What can we do? We can vote for someone with values. Yeah. I'd just like to say that the idea of legalizing gay marriage somehow forces it on everybody else is a ridiculous notation. This is the line of thinking which needs to be responded by people who can actually think rationally and respond with logic. How does allowing gay marriage affect heterosexual marriages? It doesn't. What right do religious people or those opposing gay marriage, what right do they have to go tell other people how to live their own fucking... Um, I just want to say that um, whatever you think about gay marriage, the fact is when once you uh, have made it legal in America and once it's legal in the UK, the secularists don't realise that basically they've criminalised tens of millions of Christians in the UK and in America and basically you have pushed the church too far and the church won't put up with it now we can't fight you with bombs we can't fight you with bullets because the church is taught to love and we will not use violence uh, because our Lord died on the cross for people and our job is to live and die uh, uh, live in loving people and giving ourselves to people but sometimes the church has to fight meaning fight politically fight for that what what is right and we, we can't use violence and, and violence is not legitimate but we have to fight and we will fight you if, if you think that you're going to get gay rights uh, for gay marriage and then you get gay you get it legalized if you think that we're just going to sit there and take it we ain't we're going to do everything we can to end gay marriage so even if you get it legalized we will never ever 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 give in we will take those rights away from you because they aren't your rights it's not right to legalize immorality it's not right to go against what the word of God says that's not right that's immoral that's what my scriptures say my holy bible says that and so from my holy scripture I am duty bound to oppose gay marriage and I will oppose it till the day I die I will oppose it so his, ni his nice sweet face is not a nice sweet face and the gay rights activism is not a nice sweet activism because what you're doing is tearing the church apart and tearing away Christian rights because the moment you legalize gay marriage we as Christians become criminals because our thoughts will not be with these rights we will we will we would disagree with it but we will not be able to have an opinion about it because if we say in public that we disagree with gay marriage we'll be arrested it'll be said that we're discriminatory okay the reason why I'm making this video is because I feel that you having your gay marriage will take away the rights of Christians to have freedom of conscience on the issue we will not be able to say that we believe that this is wrong 
and that is wrong it is wrong it's wrong if people cannot have freedom of conscience on this issue and the moment you legalize it we will not have freedom of conscience and I just think it's wrong and I think that is not what the people our people died for in the second world war they died for freedoms so that we could have freedoms they did not die for you so that you could have your gay marriage they died for freedom the freedom of conscience now if you wanna as gay rights people if you wanna uh, have civil partnerships then that's up to you and that's up to the state but that doesn't affect Christians you see because if you have civil partnerships and, and the state sanctions that that doesn't affect Christianity because we can still have an opinion on that we can still say well that's we don't agree with we don't agree with that but we're not going to get arrested but if you legalize and make it as gay marriage then it's it, it means that that kind of behavior is completely legally legitimized and that makes us criminals if we say we disagree with it and I think you as secularists have not thought this throughout thought this out you think you're being wise in pushing for this and you gay rights people think you're wise pushing for this but what you've done is you've trampled on the majority and made them feel that they no longer belong in their nas nations the moment the day gay rights is legalized in America and the UK is the day I will not feel I belong to Britain and be the day I'll hang, hang my head in shame for America um, I think it's the greatest moral catastrophe ever to face America and the UK ever I think it's a total disgrace and YouTube you can do what you want but at the end of the day I, I have an opinion and that's what I think I've got nothing against gay people I've got nothing against uh, them um, you know I love gay people but don't try and force your beliefs on me that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying 